People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. In September of 2022, I released a video called I Am Done With Halo Infinite. And in that video, I outlined a litany of reasons that I thought 343 Industries was not a good steward of the titular Xbox franchise, the thing that put Xbox on the map, the backbone of the Xbox community for so many years, my beloved Halo. And I stated in there that there were a litany of server and network issues and a lack of motivation to make new, fresh, fun content and game modes. And instead, it kind of fell into monotony very, very quickly. I think it's very clear to all of us that the 10 year plan that was laid out has largely been gutted. A lot of the key players who made Halo, Halo are long gone. And I think it's fair to say that the studio and a lot of its leadership is definitely, definitely struggling. Now, a lot of those issues still do exist, but as you can see from the gameplay footage, which I recorded just a few days ago, I am in fact playing Halo Infinite again. And the question is probably why? Did they fix all of the issues that I outlined? No. Do we as fans still deserve better? Absolutely. And has 343 really done anything on their major commitments to fix the game? Well, the jury's out on that one particularly. But they did something that really brought me back personally. And based on what I have seen on social media and based on what I have seen from just my other friends and my Xbox list of, you know, who's playing what, a lot of people are back. And that's good because the community needs it. They need people like me to make content, even though it is not very well received, even though it is by far my lowest viewed content. It's the content that I love making and it's the content that I love making with a big smile on my face. And 343 did the nostalgia trip. And for me at least, it worked. And as I said, for a lot of others, it seemed to have worked at least temporarily. We'll see how long my Halo Renaissance lasts. I hope forever. I hope this is the bug that gets me back into this game and makes me love it. I can say that the gameplay footage you're seeing here and some more gameplay that I had last night, I was grinning ear to ear the entire time having an absolute blast because you're probably noticing these maps are the Halo 3 maps that we remember so fondly from our time at Big Team Battle. You have Zanzibar, which has been rebranded as Cassini Bay. Rat's Nest remains the same, and Valheim is now Valheim. Now, these are player-created maps, which just, again, goes to show why 343 needs to step up their game because you have a lot of community-driven stuff, and it does, shouldn't necessarily be that way. But the map exists. It is a faithful recreation of the Halo 3 big team battle maps that I spent seemingly decades playing. <laughs> I mean, really, literally decades now, as I am still playing them. The level design and the map design back then from the original Bungie team was just something special. There's just a natural charm and beauty and grace and flow to these maps when you include lots of vehicles and long range weapons and defensive turrets and all the valleys and troughs that exist in all of these three maps. It's so nice to see that that is back. And I think that's some of the magic that was absolutely missing from Halo. Now, they also made this what they're calling a new mode, a uh, squad battle, where they reduced the big team battle mode and brought it down to the traditional 8v8, which makes the gameplay feel much more fluid. I think that is the bigger thing here. Yes, the maps are awesome. But the fact that you now have a little more intimate setting makes combat feel a little more fresh. I think big team battle with 12 players works in some instances, but it ultimately feels insanely hectic and chaotic, particularly when you have lots of explosive weapons and particularly when you have long ranges in which snipers can just go absolute ham and you can't even leave your base because you're pinned down, which is insanely frustrating, by the way. Um, so the 8v8 mode definitely has tightened up that gameplay quite a bit. 
And then obviously the nostalgia of these old maps has made it even better in my opinion. And it comes at a really good time. You know, season four, the infection came out. I, I was planning on skipping it. I was getting ready to begin my uh, Call of Duty grind and I decided to pause and say, you know what? I want to give this another chance. Um, I love Halo so much. I want it to be my daily driver. I want it to be my shooter forever and ever because I love it so much. It's so near and dear to my heart. And yes, I am one of the people who like the TV show. Um, but, you know, I just couldn't really feel myself getting into it with Call of Duty doing so many good things with their, you know, they're releasing The Boys, which has got all that cool DLC with Homelander and... Um, you know, I was like, oh, I want to get into that. But I said, I need to put that down and invest in Halo 4. So I did buy the uh, in Season 4 Battle Pass for Infection. I did play that new game mode. I really do enjoy it. I think that Infection is uh, fun and much sought after game mode. 343 did a really good job of modifying the existing maps to make them feel unique as certain pathways have now been closed off, creates natural choke points and kind of areas for the survivors to try to hunker down. There's lots of turrets, there's lots of weaponry laying around with very limited ammunition, so you can't necessarily just turtle the entire time. You have to play a little bit more offensively, which is something that I think previous infection games did not do a good job of. So that is all great news and tons of fun, and I'm excited that that is back. Um, and then obviously you release some of the most iconic maps of any first person shooter game of all time. And now you're like, okay, we're back, baby. We're back. So I'm enjoying my time. I picked up the battle pass. I've been playing it. I've been working my way through some of the content. I've been working my way through, you know, enjoying and trying to do some more original videos on Halo again. Obviously this is the first of many. Um, and I want to see if this momentum can can, taint, can maintain itself. We'll see. I know that Master Chief Collection is getting a massive overhaul here in the next week or two, which is kind of a double dose. Uh, Master Chief Collection is definitely the poster child in games that have had a radical resurgence from launch. I know when that game came out, it was very, very frustrating to play for a litany of reasons, all of which have been fixed, and even more exciting stuff has been added old Bungie development documentation has allowed people to recreate some of the old stuff that didn't make it into the original game. They've added the MOA hunt for um, Halo Infinite, or Halo Infinite, uh, for Halo 2, which is really cool. And I'm excited to see where that continues. So you kind of got a double dose right now, this little mini resurgence of Halo. And it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't talk about it because I love this and I want this to succeed and I hope that this is the momentum and I wouldn't necessarily say the turning point on 343 development but I hope they realize the amount of positive praise they have been receiving across all social media and YouTube platforms and how much this has reinvigorated the base which let's be honest we're all that's left um, but how much it has reinvigorated the base and how much it has got people talking and playing and enjoying their time with Halo, which is great. Um, just to give an example, I have never in the history of Halo Infinite ever bought a single microtransaction item, excluding the Battle Pass, which I guess you could argue is maybe a microtransaction. And I was inspired last night because of playing with all of the new armor cores and visor colors and everything for my Spartan. I was inspired to spend a whopping $4.50 on my very first cosmetic skin. And it just completed the look that I was going for with my particular Spartan. And I loved it. And it was a weird feeling for me having actually kind of bought into that system. But I did. And this just goes to show, yes, it's a piddly $4.50, but it does go to show that when you take your time and you make things that matter, people will come back and I know what Microsoft cares about the most, will spend money. Expect more Halo content from me in the future. I am really happy to be back. I hope this momentum continues and I can't wait to see what they do with the Master Chief Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.